hey guys this is Abhishek here so today we are going to discuss about most frequently used and uh, uh, which can help us in the day-to-day -day activities okay so let's begin with the processes so how you can check the process ID with the command so the command is fnc so you can see the process ID and user and uh, related information like CPU usage and memory usage and when when it was started and the with the along with the command okay so this is the one command and the next is how many CPUs are there LS CPU so this command will show you the how many CPUs are assigned to this okay and uh, what is the CPU family and model and uh, which is the hypervisor vendor VMware and what is the speed of CPU okay there's so many things you can uh, explore here as well as in the top command I'm running top command in top command if you press 1 okay you will see here CPU 0 okay if I press 1 again you will see only CPUs okay the difference is if I assign multiple CPUs example three or four CPUs so this will show if I press one this will show the count CPU 0 CPU 1 2 3 okay hope you understand and the next command is ls mem okay so this command will show you how many uh, means what is the size of the memory so the size of the memory is 1 GB okay and a memory block used 128 MB and total online memory is assigned to this machine is 1 GB okay there is no offline okay offline is nothing but pre-allocated memory okay Th that is uh, that is part of kernel tuning okay so let's proceed with next advanced command so you want to see the live uh, updating memory info so you can run xsos okay if an m m is for memory so this command will show you what is the memory size and uh, what is the memory used percentage is 88.5 and buffer is 0 cache is 31.1 percent and there is no huge pages okay and also 30 okay so <coughs> if you see here the total available memory is 0.8 GB GIB and uh, okay 0.7 GIB is used that is 89 point, uh, sorry 89% and 0.5 GB is used for cache 57% if you minus cache minus used cache minus used memory you will see the actual usage of that system okay so uh, as a, as we can see here so there is no huge mem pre allocated memory is allocated to the system so this this scenario will um, come in the database server okay so when database is used um, some amount of memory dedicatedly so in that case you can assign um, some pre allocated example 4 gb is uh, available in your system so uh, you can assigned to the database so whenever it's come up, comes up uh, so it can use that allocated memory 2 GB so you can mention as use pages okay so you can allocate 2 GB for use pages and the remaining 2 GB can be used system level okay <laughs> hope this uh, scenario you understood and uh, there are many other commands D for disk access hyphen D for disk this is a disk so there is a uh, only one disk is available for this uh, server so that is SDA 40 okay so SDA 40 is uh, partitioned uh, between uh, means partitioned inside okay there is SDA 1 and SDA 2 okay and uh, the SS 0 is DVD one also DVD that is mounted on OPT and for more information you can see the file system view the file system is mounted like this okay dev sda and this is the 
DVD which is mounted on OPT okay and the next command is for CPU exhaust-c so which will show you um, uh, the logical process or logical process and uh, that is the one and the logical process is part of 11th generation Intel Core i5 okay so you can see the family of that CPU next one is route i n so what are the routing tables are assigned to this machine so you can view this is these are the destination IPs and this is the gateway IPs without gateway IP you can't connect to the outside board and next command is netstat iphone ulnp okay so which will show you the uh, tcp udp and uh, assigned ports what and all are listening on this system so if you see the state of that so these and all um, ips and ports are listenable so example i can say ssd which is working with the 22 port okay this is um this can be accessed to like outside you can access it okay and uh, this is a gateway ip okay dns okay and uh, if you are more exploring on this so this is the ip um assigned to the assigned to the network manager so i am connecting from the outside so this is the server ip here you can see so that's the one assigned to the network manager so next one is uname fna so which will show the um, os version and uh, uh, sorry os type send to um, what is it send to uh, no no um, um what i can say os family solaris or linux and server name and this is the kernel version okay not kernel version um you can say release interface release linux okay and uh, you can see date and time and blah 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 the os family okay if you type uname minus r you will see the again you will see the uh, current uh, os version so this will be the you can say this is the like kernel version also okay the you, you can get it under unim fna also okay and next one is um, the more advanced or you can say or or live running info if you need that you will get under proc okay proc is the common and you can see related info example memory mem info so you will see here total memory free memory available buffer cache so whatever we discussed a particular command in exhaust or free fng or top the same uh, info you will get but this is based on the current live output live information this is okay the similar way you can check the cpu info yeah so cpu info white processor is zero means um in uh, digital world always uh, whatever count is there so that will be starting from zero okay so if i assign four cpus it will show three okay zero one two three means which is four cpus so this is a family this is a thing that means output is similar like ls cpu okay and uh, the most um, important thing is that uh, okay so always you prefer to log in the dns but sometimes you require to give somebody the server ip okay to connect or to uh, mention or to, to transfer some files or something okay where dns is not working so you can run this command easily and get the IP of this system okay but this will be uh, fetched from the host file okay but uh, in reality the IP is 192.168.106.41 but the server is showing 126.128 
it is based on the host file okay so in host file I mentioned this orchestra server IP is this one okay example if I change that okay just I will comment this okay and I will mention 192.168.106.1 okay and then orchestra save it if I run again that command this will change okay so <coughs> basically this hostname fni command will run based on uh, whatever written on the host file okay so this will be not the always genuine so be careful but this will be uh, the command to get the server IP okay if host file is correct and uh, if you want to check the associated IPs assigned to this machine so you can run IP space A so this will be replaced by the if config if A okay this is a shortcut command to get the IPs and these all are uh, assigned to this machine okay these and all are um, uh, means configured IPs okay and the next command is nmclscon or connection so which will show the active connected uh, interfaces okay so these are the commands day to day we can use these to check the uh, some of the uh, information so uh, like most of the people will be working on some alerts server alerts like nick down or uh, memory high cpu high is at high so you can check uh, the information using this command uh, hope you like this content and uh, you will use for uh, uh, in your day-to-day -day activities thank you